This video gives an overview of the CatVico user interface. When CatVico is started, a start page is presented. On the start page, a group of helpful links are provided. These links provide quick access to creating a new model, opening models that were recently used, and supporting material for using CatVico and the Fico suite. The ribbon layout in CatVico helps to group tools together. This means that while working on a task, only the tools that are relevant to that task are visible. Clutter is reduced, making the model setup more efficient. Each view also has its own context sensitive tab. Different settings may be applied to each view so that different aspects of a model can be viewed simultaneously. The model tree gives a breakdown of a CAD figure model. At a glance, the state of a model can be determined. It is divided into two tabs, the Construct tab and the Configuration tab. The Construct tab includes a summary of the variables, media and the model itself. The Configuration tab contains all the solution components such as the sources and the requested output. Under the Construct tab, there is also the Details tree, found at the bottom of the browser. It gives information about the settings applied to each element of a model. The Interactive Status Bar gives quick access to the most often used display options the distance and angle measurement tools, as well as model selection options. The model unit is shown and can also be changed here. The message window will give feedback as actions are being performed. It will give warnings or errors when unexpected operations are encountered. Meshing information and other useful information is also presented here. Now for a short summary of the functionality of each tab. The Home tab contains all the commands that are used most often, such as file operations, creating new views, model attributes, etc. Here, special tabs can be activated, namely the Cables and Windscreen tabs. The different FICO components can also be launched from here. All operations for generating new geometry are available on the Construct tab. Physical geometry is modeled using solids, surfaces and curves. Infinite planes, periodic boundaries and also finite arrays can be defined from here. The Transform tab operates on existing geometry. For example, copies can be made of a part and the geometry can be moved, scaled or mirrored. Geometry can also be converted into a primitive part or exploded into face parts. A model requires at least two items, a source and a frequency at which the source is operating. The source load tab gives access to the frequency, power, port and excitation options. Also loading can be set here. Once a model has been created and configured, the results that are of interest can be requested. Different field values, currents and other derived results can be requested. Optimization searches can be defined as well, which helps find the optimal model for a desired result output. The operations and tools found under the Transform, Source Load and Request tabs can also be accessed directly by right-clicking in the tree. The Mesh tab contains all tools and operations needed to generate the mesh. Mesh refinement tools are provided as well as tools for finding and fixing undesired mesh elements. The Solve Run tab contains operations and settings related to the simulation of the model. For example, symmetry can be added to save computational resources. Parallel mode can be activated 
and also other components of FICO can be run, such as PostFICO and EditFICO. Note that the FICO solver, PostFICO and EditFICO, can also be accessed on the application launcher on the top right of the screen. On the Tools tab, we find tools for measuring distances and angles, and also a calculator. Image exporting and copying is also done from here. For the geometry or mesh, the selection method and type can be chosen as well. Also the snap settings can be changed here. Note that many of these tools are also available on the status bar at the bottom of the application. For the most part, the view is manipulated by using the mouse. However, the ribbon gives access to quick view settings, such as zooming to the extents of the model, views from specific camera angles, like the top or bottom, and also the schematic view. The settings provided on the Display Options tab determine how a model is displayed in that particular view. Different aspects of a model can be viewed in different ways or hidden altogether. The geometry, mesh, solution entities, infinite structures and so forth can be shown in any combination to help highlight specific aspects of the model. The schematic view is used when cables, networks or transmission line models are being created. The nodes of these can be connected in the schematic editor. In this particular case, we have not created any cables in the model, and as such the cable tools are not presented to the user. This concludes the demonstration. For help in setting up your own models, please contact Fico Support.